Okay, this video is on our Coates Direct Drive Wheel Balancer, and so we're going to go over this machine and how it works. Uh, the power, this is our display here, but the power switch is actually down here in the corner. Just reach down here, you can feel it and turn the switch to on, and then this display will come up right here. Okay, um, some information you need to know. Uh, this is where we enter our three measurements, our offset, our wheel width and the wheel diameter. So we can do, just for example, uh, we can put in it's 5.8. You don't have to put in the decimal, just hit 5.8, and that's good. Uh, wheel width, for example, uh, 4.5, so it's 4.5. Let's say we have a 14 inch wheel. So here we put 14, but you can see it says 1.4. So we just push zero, and that'll give us 14. And now we're ready to, to balance our wheel. Uh, we also have some different settings here. We can set or we can set our weights. This is the one we're going to use the most. This is where we set our wheel weights to the outside and the inside lip where they're hammered on. Um, this would be for an RV, a little bit bigger wheel. This one would be for stick-on weights where we have to actually literally stick them inside the rim. Um, this is where you have a hammer-on and a stick-on weight, two stick-on weights, and two more stick-on weights. Okay, so let's balance a tire and let's put a tire on the machine. Okay, so the first thing we do, we got to make sure our safety glasses are on here. The first thing you want to do is take all the wheel weights off. If you just changed this and put on a, a new tire, you would probably already have them off anyway. But if we're just doing a rotated balance, your old wheel weights are going to be on. So you want to take these off. Use your tire tool to pull them off here. And we'll, there's none on this side. Oh, there's one down here. Take this off. And the next part, we want to make sure we've got the right cone for this. And so we've got small, medium, large, and extra large. I'm going to use a small one. You can see this goes all the way through. So I'm going to go with the medium size cone. And we can just look at this from the front. So that's good. We want it to fit inside the cone. So what I need to do is take off the lock here, slide the cone this way on the shaft, get our tire, and put this on, this the shaft, get it on the cone, and then take our block and go ahead and spin this on. You, want, you don't want it super tight, but you want it so you know the tire is not going to move. Okay, so we're going to take our measurements. This tire, our offset, is 4.9. So over here, push A, 4, 9, and our wheel width, and we're going to use our tool here to measure that. So we're going to bring this over here, and we're going to go from the inside edge to the outside edge, and we're at about six and a half. So we're right there. So we're going to punch in W and 6, 5, make sure it's there, and then 4, diameter we want to look at the tire size and this tire is a 20560R15 so we're going to need to change this to 15 so and another zero that'll give us 15 again remember to push that zero or else it's going to think we have a 1.5 inch rim when we actually have a 15 so once that's all set you just lower the hood And it's telling us that you want 75.75 ounces on the inside and 0.5 ounces on the outside. And how we know where it's located is we turn this until that flashes like that. Once it flashes, that's the very top of the tire where we're going to install our wheel weight right here. For the outside, same thing. 
there's a top point for the outside of the rim where it's flashing. That's where we want to install our glue weight. So let's get some glue weights and put them on. So this one is 50, I believe. So we'll put this one on the outside. Actually, this one. So I've got a 50, well I'm going to go with the 50 first and we'll do that on the outside and then I'll show it to you on the inside. So I'm going to go to the outside, I'll stand here and I'm going to look down, there's a red line right here that I'm looking at, and that's my center point, so I'm just going to bring that over this side, make sure I'm still lined up here, or right there, and I'm going to hammer this on with our wheel weight hammer. Be sure not to smash your finger. Don't hit your finger with this, it doesn't feel good. Okay, so that's on. And then we're going to go ahead and do this one. And locate the center point. This is top dead center right here. Line up with the red line as you're looking down. It's easier to stand right here when you're doing this. And you want to lay, when you want to do this, you don't want to hit the weight like this. You want to put the weight into the rim like this and then strike it this way so it curves into the rim. Make sure we're lined up. There it is. Okay, both our wheel weights on, and now we're going to confirm that it's balanced. So we're going to lower the hood again. It's going to spin. And we're good. You know we're good when it says zero on this side and zero on that side. That means we are perfectly balanced.